Hello, this is the first of a few videos that I'm going to do looking at the inverse normal, so day 18 in our packs. The first question here um, starts off by reviewing some of the um, ideas behind the standard deviations. Um, and in fact, the very first part of it isn't even inverse normal, it's actually just a standard normal problem. Um, so I'm going to draw out my normal curve. And I'm going to mark in roughly where the mean is. The mean is 95 in this question. And I'm looking at the percentage of footballers with chest measurements between 87 and 103. So I'm looking at what proportion would be found in this region here. Now, looking at my standard deviation, I can see it's 8 centimetres. So my range goes... 8 centimetres below the mean to 8 centimetres above the mean. From day 17 you'll remember that if we're within one standard deviation of the mean then we know that there's going to be 68% of our population there. If you forgot that and you went about doing this um, using your calculator with um, your lower and upper values you would have ended up with the same answer so it wouldn't have been a problem if you didn't spot that it might have just taken a little bit longer. OK, looking at part B, we have a slightly different situation because um, this time we've been given a probability and we're asked to find out what is the measurement. So we're looking at the largest 2.5%. So I'm going to put this right on the end here. That is my 2.5%. OK, we can also do this problem with standard deviations. So if we remember, one standard deviation was 68%. So plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean, we're looking at 68% of our population. Plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean, we're looking at 95% of our population. So if I've used up 95%, in two standard deviations, I must have five left over. And two and a half percent will be up here, two and a half percent will be down here. So that tells me that this value here, let's mark it x, must be two standard deviations above the mean. So two lots of our standard deviation, so 111 centimeters. So first look at an inverse normal problem, but because we didn't have to really calculate anything, um, it was fairly painless. We're going to look at the last of these parts now. So part C, we're looking at what's the chest measurement that 40% of our footballers fall under. So mark the mean, which of course is 50%. So if the question had been 50%, this would have been a very easy one. 40% um, obviously is going to be to the left of this, so that's going to be our 40%, and so of course the rest is 60%. And we're after this value here, so I know I'm looking for an answer that's smaller than 95. Um, okay, so what we're going to have to do is use our calculator for this. So we're distributing normal distribution. Um, we're looking at our mean. Remember, we're, this is our notation which we need to learn. Um, oops, that's not the right one. So it is in the brackets, we go for the mean and then the variance. So it's a standard deviation squared. So my mean is 95, my standard deviation is 8, so I'm going to square it for my variance. Writing it this way is a good idea because if you see 64 here, um, it might be that you forget that that's actually the variance and you start using that as your standard deviation measure. So sticking with your standard deviation squared hopefully will make it less likely that that mistake will happen. So what do we know? We know that the probability that our random variable, the footballer that we choose, has a chest measurement less than something, our little x down here, that probability has got to be 40%. So this is what we know, and we're trying to find out x. That's what I want to find. So I'm going to go to my calculator. 
Unfortunately, my calculator doesn't have the new um, operating system, so it's not quite as easy to use as yours. But we want the inverse normal. That's the same as yours. OK, I'm doing this on my actual calculator at the same time. And the first thing that it says is the area. So that's the area that we're looking at. This area always measures from the left. So I'm looking at 0 0.4. That's what I'd fill in on my screen. The next one is the mean. We know the mean is 95. And the third is the standard deviation, which is 8. And then the final thing on your screen, the fourth line should say paste. And that will paste in this onto your calculator. And then the final step is to press enter. So we find out if we round this to three significant figures, we've got 93.0. Okay, so 93.0 centimetres. Does it make sense? Well, it's a bit below 95. Um, it's not a whole standard deviation below 95. It seems sensible.